What's up guys, it's D Brown with Trackheads and I'd like to welcome you to Trackheads. All right, so today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about diet and the importance of having a balanced diet, um, whether you're an athlete or whether you're just a civilian, whether you're just like a regular person. Okay, I recently just released a meal plan on my website on trackheadstraining.com. All right, the meal plan is pretty dope. Um, a lot of people have tried it, I've tried it. And I just want to give you guys like a just a brief summary about the importance of diet and ways that it can benefit you and, 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 and some certain benefits of just taking certain foods out of your diet, replacing certain foods um, in your diet and just making sure you guys stay the course. I um, mean, just giving you some guys uh, some really dope information. So the biggest thing that I noticed um, for a lot of people that I've been uh, working with when it comes to meal plans and when it comes to diets is that a lot of people taking a lot of sugar. A lot of sugar into their diet right so they'll have like the sodas they'll have the candies they'll have the pastries they have the the you know uh the obvious sugars but a lot of people don't realize that some of the biggest sugars in the body um aren't even sweet right um a lot of the sugar a lot of the foods that the body perceives as sugar or that eventually turns into sugar uh, when the body processes that food um, are the real dangers and the real things that you should like really be aware of when it's time for you to uh, you know start constructing your diet and figuring out what foods you want to take out and what foods to replace and put in. All right, um, I really guys, I really want you guys to really um, to really be aware of a lot of the white foods that are out there. Okay, a lot of the, of course, pastas, a lot of the um, high carbohydrate foods, not the healthy carbohydrates, the bad carbohydrates. Those are the pastries, the donuts, the cakes. Those are the uh, white rice. Those are the, the items. Those are the foods that um, have a lot of sugar in them. They may not necessarily be sweet, some of them, but when the body processes them, when it breaks it down, when it turns that glucose into sugar, um, it, be, it can be stored as fat inside your body. And we don't want, we want healthy amounts of fat in the body. We don't want a lot of fats in the body. So that's one of many uh, things that I include inside of uh, th this particular meal plan. Um, in this meal plan, I have um, I have uh, each meal being anywhere from 300 to 400 calories. Um, it features breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It features healthy snacks. Um, you'd be surprised. Like one of the hacks that I have in there are uh, when you want a healthy snack, right? A lot of times. It's not necessarily the meals that get people in trouble. It's that they don't have snacks to have in between the meals. So guess what? They have candy. They have all these negative foods that end up taking away from the healthiness of your diet. And um, one of the recommendations I put is to have almonds, right? Almonds is a, uh, almonds or, or even just regular peanuts is an excellent source of protein. And that protein will kind of curb that hunger. Now, the great thing about almonds and uh, very similar nuts are that they are packed with uh, a lot of calories, so you don't even have to have that many. You can have a handful, put it inside of a bag, have it at work, um, and it's a really great way to have a balanced diet. If you do happen to have a sweet tooth, an excellent way for you to curb that would be to have trail mix, right? Trail mix has a little bit of M&Ms, but it also has nuts, it has seeds, it has uh, it's an excellent source of protein and just a little bit of sugar just to kind of, you know, mix everything in there. So I really, got, I really want you guys just to be aware of the different ways in which you can substitute or add very small things into your meal plan to make it into a positive meal plan, right? To make it into a positive experience so that your body um, can act and react the way that you want it to. Um, and then you don't have to deal with any of the uh, the negative uh, issues that comes with just having a bad meal plan. Um, one of the other things that, like I said before, is a soda. A lot of the clients that I serve love soda. They love the Cokes, they love the Pepsis, Fantas. They love all that stuff. So I tell them that I really want them to focus on substituting. You know, I don't, I don't like to just take things out the diet. I want to replace them, right? So I might replace soda with a fruit juice. I might replace soda with, um, you know, a smoothie. I might replace soda with um, a juice. And then maybe a month later, I replace that juice with uh, a smoothie, right? So I'm trying to get everyone who may be addicted to soda, may be addicted to some of these food items that are just so bad for you um, gradually because at the end of the day we're not trying to do this for a temporary uh, time frame right we're not trying to do this for a couple months we're not trying to do this for a couple days or a couple weeks we're trying to do this for the lifetime right so we can have the the longest life that we possibly can have so I really want you guys to check out the meal plan I just want to give you guys just a brief idea of some of the things you might see in there um, like I said 
comes with breakfast, comes with lunch, comes with dinner. It offers plenty of alternatives. <laughs> Excuse me, plenty of alternatives when it comes to uh, healthy snacks, when it comes to advice, when it comes to um, just different things that can help you on your journey when it comes to, to, to physical health, when it comes to, uh, you know, uh, health in terms of the foods that you eat. I personally have taken candy out my diet for the uh, a year before. I personally have taken sugar out my diet uh, for a year before. So I definitely know how that feeling feels when you're trying to take these some of these foods out your diet that have a hold on you. So like I said, um, definitely check it out. I'm going to leave the link in the bio or not the bio. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. All right. And do not hesitate to check it out. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And like I said, this is D Brown with Trackheads. Thank you for watching. I'll see y'all later. Peace.